Let's do some Charleston modeling for American Style Mahjong. If you're new to the game, this is a great way to get to know all the hands on the card and also build your confidence with decision making. If you're new or if you're an intermediate player and you just want to improve your game, consider subscribing and click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's get to the Charleston modeling. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. We're just going to say we're the dealer. So I'm going to get 14 tiles. I like to build around multiples and here we have a pair of fours, a pair of twos, and a pair of five cracks. So we could do two, three, four, five, or we could do one, two, three, four. If we did one, two, three, four, we would not be able to use the fives. Let's play something with two, three, four, five. That way we can keep all of these and pass these. The challenge here is we have dragons, which are valuable because there are only three of them and dragons are in every category on the card. And we have like numbers and passing like numbers is just as risky as passing a pair. So I think we have to make a decision already. If we were to play some kind of two, three, four, five. We probably don't need both fives. So I think we could break that up and maybe pass those. I forgot to get the Charleston together. So we need a mock Charleston. This is not an exact replica of what you would experience in a live game. This is just for practice. So there's our Charleston. Let's go ahead and pass those three and see how the first pass might change this random pull. We got a flower and like numbers. Look at that. I'm just wondering if we should maybe switch to something consecutive with ones and twos. One, two, We have a flower here too. Maybe we could even play something with a year hand. All these are year tiles. Let's switch to a year hand because we are in the obligatory phase of the game. We have to pass. So let's just break up these multiples and stick with the one, twos, and threes. One, two, really ones and twos because if we stuck with the three we would have two pair to pass i'm not going to pass a pair so let's switch to a year hand and break up these multiples sometimes your multiples don't go together and this is an example of when that might happen so let's see what we can do with a year category there's a one and a seven and we have like numbers here again. So we have to make a choice already. Let's see if we play something with the year category, two, two, zero, maybe one, seven, 2017. Let's go ahead and give up the seven. We could still play something consecutive with ones and twos. There's a seven and even a two. Here's a seven here. Maybe we could even play the big year hand. Maybe. Let's get rid of these three. There's another flower and tiles to pass. There's a seven. So now we can pass those three. I'm thinking probably the 2017 hand, 
The last hand under the consecutive or the 2017 category, it's a concealed hand, so we could probably get rid of one of these. We could still even play the big hand, the big 2017 hand, the last one under singles and pairs. We could maybe draw that seven bam back. Let's see what we get here. Discards, we can pass those in the optional cross. Maybe we'll get that seven bam back. Nope, but that's okay. We have five discards and we, I think are pretty well set up for the 2017 concealed hand under the 2017 category. That was not too bad. Those multiples really were not helpful. There were uh, the four and the five with the two. We maybe could have gone with the three, four, five instead of the ones and twos, and it might have been viable. But I think this is still a viable situation. Let's do another one. Okay, 14 tiles for the dealer. And the Charleston. So we have a pair of white dragons. Whenever I see white dragons, I think about the year category. So let's keep all the year tiles. We do have a pair though. Maybe there is a consecutive hand with bams and opposite dragons, or maybe even a quint. We have no jokers though, so that's a long shot. But we've got tiles we can pass. It's a little risky with the three nine, but we're breaking it up with another suit. I think that'll be just fine. We've got a seven, another five, and a four. We actually maybe could do four or five with the dragons in the consecutive category, but let's just pull these all together. If we're gonna build around the multiples, really this consecutive hand with fives and the, re and the dragons here, this would be the last hand under consecutive run. Basically here it would be five, six, seven with dragons. That would use both of those. As an option, if we get the five crack, we might be able to play like numbers with dragons. So let's go ahead and save the five, even though that's not the, the right five. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should even save the two seven. We could still play a 2017 hand here, this would give us tiles that we can pass right here. It's kind of a process of elimination. Build around your multiples, give yourself options, see what's remaining, and make a good pass out of that so that you're passing defensively. This is a little risky because we're passing two consecutive numbers, but at least they're in different suits, so that's not too bad. Get rid of the joker. Oops. Goodness. Okay, we got a six. I've got the dropsies. Okay, so we have five, six, seven dragon. If we get a red dragon, that would be a really good option. We still have a potential with the year, so let's keep that. We can get rid of the, let's get rid of these three. Okay, we got like numbers here. We're gonna have to break that up. Let's pass these three. Okay, we got a flower. Ooh, five crack. So we're between like numbers with fives and dragons or five, six, seven with dragons. 
I'm thinking we can probably just give up on that right now. I think we're closer to either a year hand or like numbers with dragons. Let's pass these three. Oh, there's a red. Now that we gave up that seven bam, <laughs> we've got that red dragon there. Let's see. That is a more valuable hand than the year hand. Let's go ahead and get rid of these three. Get rid of that. Okay, so we've got a five. We gotta leverage that. That's stronger than a pair. So probably we do have maybe some joker bait here. Let's pass these three for optional cross. I'm thinking like numbers with dragons. Okay. And actually this turned out to be even another potential hand here something consecutive we have five six five six seven so there are eight tiles towards that consecutive option this would be the fourth hand down under consecutive run eight but if we played like numbers with fives we're in between i would discard the two dot and just pick and discard and pick whatever comes first. They're of equal value. So that was an interesting turnout. Like numbers with dragons or five, six, five, six, seven. Hmm. Lots of options there. Well, two anyway. Okay, let's do this one more time. Okay. We do have two sets of multiples here, including a pair of flowers. So I'm thinking we have some kind, some options here, probably with either consecutive with dragons. We could maybe do something with a year hand. Maybe we should hold these. These could be joker bait. Let's pass Northwest Nine. There's a red and a seven. I'm thinking maybe the year hand, a year hand. Let's pass, let's break up the four and build around the whites. Maybe we could even play the big year hand. Okay, we got like numbers. We got to break those up. I think it's very risky passing like numbers. There's one of each suit. We'll get rid of that. Oh my gosh, get rid of that. Oh, geez. Okay. And we have tiles we can pass. There's a one, and then we can pass one of each suit. There's a keeper. And a dragon. Let's break up the one. I'm thinking we should play the big ear hand here. Maybe 
We could even play like numbers with dragons. Like numbers with dragons or the big year hand. Let's pass, let's pass one blind. Let's pass two for optional cross. Okay, discards. So this would be fun to play out. I think we are in between like numbers with dragons. This would be the first one under like numbers, or we could play the big year hand. Two, zero, one, seven there. We would need a two bam seven bam pair up the dragons of course we're four away from being ready on the big year hand here so i would just play it out and see what happens because we are in between start with these two and then just pick and discard until this comes in one or the other. If you have a set at home, get it out and try Charleston modeling. I really do think it helps with decision making and you'll get to know all the hands on the card. If you would have done anything differently for these random pulls, write in the comment section. Make sure you call out which hand and then tell me what you would have done. It's interesting how everybody sees something a little differently and there are a lot of viable opportunities I do like building around multiples. I think that's the strongest strategy, but in these random pulls, some of those multiples really didn't go together and that happens sometimes. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn some new strategies or maybe pick up an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Modeling for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.